my name is Hannah Fry. Welcome to the Royal Institution Christmas Lectures. And let's start as we mean to go on. Mathematicians see the world in a very particular way. As much as you can appreciate a day like this, you also see the mathematical patterns everywhere around you. Just by looking at these crucial numbers, we're going to try and get to the heart of the climate change controversy. First, whether she thought this app would be useful in fighting the virus. You should think of this more as one tool in a suite of tools. What was Trump mocked for this week? Was it his teeny tiny table? His teeny tiny table. Oh, I love his this. His teeny tiny table. <laughs> have you ever been to like a parents' evening at a primary school yes. where you go and sit down with a teacher and you try and have a really serious conversation? You're just sat in these teeny tiny little chairs, <laughs> teeny tiny little tables. <laughs> I think what's happened is that he's acted like a child for so long that his team are finally like, right, we're going to start treating you like one. <laughs> and first, we're putting you on that Fisher Price table. <laughs> <laughs> these huge turbine engines, all of the grease that lubricates them and other parts of, of the plane has a freezing temperature of minus 40. So below that, everything kind of jams up. It was actually the, the railway that gave us the same time across the entire country. So it was really the railway that, that allowed us or, or, or forced the need to create Greenwich Mean Time. The flying cars. It sort of already exists, right? So they, they're like, they call them passenger drones instead of flying cars. Yeah. So the early ones, though, the only thing about them is the battery in them only lasts for 23 minutes. <laughs> so what? you can, like, fly you to Tesco's, but you've got to get the bus home, basically. <laughs> <laughs> now, this data is very valuable, but it is not the complete picture, because you cannot tell how many people have the virus unless you are testing them. Rule of six, 10 p.m. closing. Lots of the evidence shows that that doesn't really make that much of a difference. And actually, if you could find out what it is that is stopping people from self-isolating and support them through it, I just think it would make so much more of a difference. I mean, the, the effectiveness of that would be so much greater. Can I read you a question from it? Please do. 110 bushels of coal are divided among a number of poor persons. If each had received one bushel more than he'd received, as many bushels as there are persons, how many poor persons were there? That's the kind of gem that you can get in this textbook. Encoding any and every signal using just ones and zeros is a pretty remarkable breakthrough. Don't get put off yet, because I'm going to explain how this equation works using Scrabble. An airborne city, and building it and running it has tested us to our absolute limits. 